Okay, the uh, next video we're going to make is uh, what to do when you uh, get your trailer. Uh, it's in your possession and uh, there are some several tasks that need to be done. And uh, depending on the state of your trailer, those tasks might vary. Uh, this tray look at right now uh, has uh, is a good example of some of the things that we're going to need to do. If we uh, go and look, uh, we can see that despite the uh, combiner switches all being on, that our Midnight Classic is not on. And uh, therefore, the voltage available from the batteries is not enough to uh, power that up. And so we're going to have to uh, do some things to the batteries to get those voltages uh, up just a little bit. And uh, we'll review that right now. Okay, if we open up the uh, lids on these batteries and uh, we can see all of the individual cells uh, for informational purposes, each of those cells is a two volt battery and they're all connected in series. And since there are 24 volts, 24 cells in each battery, then those add up to a total of a 48 volt system. Uh, the vast majority of trailers are all going to need to have distilled water added. Uh, these are all currently, you can see the water in there, uh, to my surprise, these batteries have enough water in them. And so that's a step that I'm not going to have to do. But you need to remove all of those caps and uh, put as much water as it takes to cover the lead plates that you'll see down inside of there. And you don't want to go all the way full, uh, just uh, half an inch, three quarters of an inch. Uh, uh, to maybe an inch maximum above those plates and another uh, task that you'll want to do is you'll want to remove these plastic covers on all of the terminals and you'll want to uh, wash and uh, particularly looking for um, any that are corroded any of those terminals, they can corrode to the point uh, that it would um, that it would damage uh, the cell and would have to be replaced. And so it's a good idea, uh, maybe uh, uh, once or twice a year, to go and remove all of those and with some baking powder, baking soda, or some uh, soapy water, uh, just take and scrub all of the terminals and make sure that they're all nice and clean. Uh, since uh, these batteries then have been discharged uh, down far enough that the Midnight Classic won't turn on. Um, we need to then manually charge uh, some, of the, some of these cells. And one of the first things I like to do is to disconnect one of the two batteries uh, so that we're not having to charge both of them in order to get the Midnight Classic up and running. On this particular unit, uh, we're just going to disconnect that Anderson connector right there. Uh, most of the time, those Anderson connectors are sitting right here underneath one of these lids. And so just disconnect one of the batteries uh, before you start manually charging. I'm going to do that now. Okay, you can see that we've disconnected that Anderson connector, which now means that this back battery is disconnected. And it is this front battery that we will begin the manual charging process on. And so I will be grabbing a standard 12 volt battery charger that you would use on a typical automobile. And we will be charging six of these cells at a time. That's two volts each, which means that we'll be using a 12 volt charger to charge 12 volts worth of batteries. And so each of these rows is six batteries, which is 12 volts. So we'll be doing one row at a time. And uh, so I'll get that uh, hooked up now and uh, show you what that looks like. Our particular battery charger is set to uh, 12 volt high boost. Um, I found that you can, whichever charger you use, uh, you can pretty much put it on its high setting. 
and uh, you can see that we put the positive lead onto the positive side of the battery and then if we go down all the way to the end we have the negative on the negative side and so that's uh, six two volt batteries uh, each uh, totaling up to 12 volts and so we are currently charging that row of batteries uh, we should leave that on there anywhere from as little as a half an hour to as much as two or three hours uh, depending on how low the, the charge is and then we can uh, move that across and uh, we do that by we can't just move this one to here because this is now the uh, the negative side of the battery so we'll have to bring the negative uh, connector that's down on that end and bring it to here and then we'll have to move this positive connector down to the other side of this row and then we'll be charging that one 12 volts and then we will mirror what we see here and we will put this one on the third row here where we have a positive and we will place the negative on the other side and work our way through all four rows and uh, once we get to that fourth row if the battery, if those cells have been taking charge properly, uh, we should be able to see the Midnight Classic uh, turn on, and uh, then that's a good sign. Uh, then the Midnight Classic can at that point start using the solar panels uh, to help uh, to charge the battery. And uh, once it's up to at least 40 volts, uh, we can then turn on the SMA Sunny Island, and at that point we can then use either the grid or a generator or a generator uh, to more rapidly uh, charge the battery. Uh, once we have this battery to where it is um, has a fair amount of charge, uh, uh, state of charge um, back, uh, we can then go ahead and plug back in the second battery, and it will uh, start to charge up too and uh, we'll be uh, good to go.